this is Julie again, and today we're going to be going over force drying and fluff drying um, the dog for scissoring. A lot of people are always asking me whether in the grooming competition ring or the show ring, how I get my dogs to have that nice velvety finish that you see. Um, you know, how do you get the curl out of the coat? So today we're just going to go over that because no matter how good of a groomer or scissorer you are, if your prep work is not there, your finished work isn't going to be as good. So your groom depends on your prep work. So this is our freshly washed um, wet dog. And you can see she has a lot of curl in her coat down on the base, um, you know, the legs everywhere. And I want to get all that curl out and get her nice and straight. I'm going to turn her around here. I've dried half of her already. And this is what we're going for. This is what I want to see in a dog that is properly prepped and ready for clipping and scissoring. I want all the curl out of the coat. I want to be able to slide a comb right through it. Um, and I want to have that nice, you know, plush, velvety look when I'm finished. So um, some of the things I like to do, um, first, I want to force dry the dog. So today uh, we're going to be using the Easy Dry 3, uh, but you could use any equivalent force dryer. And what I like to do with these guys, since it is quite loud, um, you know, hearing protection is good for both the dog and you. So for the dog, um, what I like to do is just get those jumbo cotton balls and stick one down in each ear canal, like so. And this is going to muffle the sound for her so it's not quite so loud. If you have a nervous dog or a timid dog or an older dog, they also make these great little happy hoodies, which are wonderful. They're kind of elastic -y, and you can put them right over the dog's head like so. And this will muffle the noise as well for the dog, you know, especially an older dog that maybe has panic attacks or a young puppy. Um, this is going to muffle the sound even more for them. Um, but she's fine with the force dryer. So she doesn't need that. <laughs> so just the cotton is good for her. I'm going to stick her in the noose here and turn her back around. And as far as safety precautions and, you know, hearing for people, um, these great little spongy earplugs are great. You can get them right at Home Depot. Just crunch them up and stick them down in your ear canal. Um, and those are great for muffling the noise. Uh, so we don't go through a hundred billion of them in our work day. I usually get just some good little ear muffs or shooting muffs um, And these work great to muffle the sound as well. I kind of look like I'm You know conducting air traffic, but you know, they work great They muffle the sound and you can reuse them again and again and again I think I've had the same pair for two years now and beaten it up and it's still working and it's great So I'm going to put this on and turn on my force dryer. This force dryer has a variable speed, but some are one speed or two speed. So I'm going to turn it on. The variable speeds are great because if you have a nervous dog, you can put it on lower. Like this, or a young puppy, if you have a nervous dog or a puppy. Um, for older dogs or dogs that you know, know about it, you can turn it up and get the job done a lot faster.
doesn't spin around with the forced air to start. So now that we're done with our force drying, um, with the force dryer, again I use the Easy Dry 3, it's a great little dryer, um, if you guys are looking for a good force dryer. They also make a smaller version of this, um, and this one is the larger, more powerful version, which is great for at the shop. So after I'm done with my force drying, I then want to go over the dog with the stand dryer. And for this I move up to a finer finish brush. 
I like the Artiro larger slicker brush. It works great. It gives you a nice fine finish as well as the All System slicker brush and that works great as well. Either of these are going to give you that nice plush, you know, clean finish for scissoring that you're looking for. And I'll try not to blow them all off the table this time. So, um, I like to use it on hot because that's going to get your coat straight and hold the fluff. And you want to just go over all the dog against the grain and fluff dry it up with a hot dryer. You can also use a hand dryer for this, especially with the smaller breeds like the Bichons, Toy Poodles, Mini Poodles. You can go over them with a hand dryer. Um, you just want to make sure you don't use it so hot that it burns the dog or that you hold it far enough back. Uh, the Speedy dryers work great. They're my favorite stand dryer. You can't kill them. I think I had one of these two dryers for like 25 years. You really can't kill them. The second one's about 10 years old. So these are really great. They're an old die-hard dryer. They've been in the industry forever. Um, ask anyone that has them. They're the best. So. I want to go all over my dog with my stand dryer, getting all that curl out. And these are great because they you know, swivel around 360 degrees as well as go up and down. Go over my tail, get my tail all nice and fluffed up.
work with the dryer on my right hand side, but everybody's different. Um, for some reason I can't work with it on my left. I don't know why. Everything feels wrong. And you know, you're gonna find yourself too that you find it easier to work with it, you know, in one position or on one side. So I tend to move the dog or turn the dog around, you know, to make it easiest for me. And make the drying process as quick as possible. Armpits. That's a common place for mats to hide. And just comb everything forward and up against the grain to prepare it for clipper combing and scissoring. And right up the thighs here. Make sure any tangles are out, any little snags you're going to hit. Because if your comb can slide through, then your clipper comb can slide through. And that's what's going to give you that nice velvety finish that you're looking for. I pull the ear out and go down the inside of the ear, as well as the outside. Make sure it slides nice, nice and clean right through that ear. And then take their head out of the grooming loop and tip it down fluff up the top knot and go right down the mane if you have one to the shoulders. And there you have it. One poodle properly washed, dried, combed through, and prepped for scissoring. Scissoring. Thank you, Talia. You were very good. Mm -hmm.